yesterday, Dave Roberts mentioned that there was a chance that there were going to be some lineup changes today. You're going to be in there in center field. Um, when you think about kind of stepping in, considering the situation that's in hand, I'm back saving the series, you guys are facing elimination. Just stepping in, because you guys have a lot familiar in the postseason, but just kind of your mindset going into tonight. And at what point did Dave tell you just that this could be a possibility of you playing in center? Um, he told me on the flight here. So I knew two nights ago that I was going to play center field. Um, yeah, I mean, like you said, I've, I've played in a lot of these, um, a lot of must-win games. Um, so, you know, I, I kind of know what to expect. Um, I'm ready. You know, I I don't think this team brought me here to help them win 100 games. They brought me here to help them win games in situations like these, and they and they put me in the lineup, and now it's up to me to come through. David? Uh, I'll ask this in English and Spanish, and if you can answer maybe in both. Um, you've been around this team, obviously, except in the last couple of years in Boston, but you've been around this team a long time. You've been with this team when it's won. What does it take to overcome something like this, which you guys have done in the past? Tu has pasado mucho tiempo con este equipo. Eh, con la excepción de los últimos años en Boston, han ganado, tú has sido parte de eso, sabes de eso. ¿Cuál es la mentalidad que se necesita para sobreponerse a una situación como esta? Yeah, um, 2020 we went through a similar situation, down 3-1 to one against the Braves, and we were able to overcome that and come from behind and win that series. Um, <clears throat> I think in situations like this, it's uh, very easy to, to look what, like what's ahead of you instead of what's like right in front of you and it's uh it's very easy for people to say we've won three games in a row man this many times throughout the year and for me personally i think the mentality should be win one win today because that's all that matters today is the only thing that matters and then we wake up tomorrow and we do it all over again but uh you know there's there's no sense in in, in looking and trying to win three games because you, you're only playing one tonight and uh I think for us it's very important to to, to find that edge again, and 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 in the first couple of innings is, is very important to set the tone, just the same way they've done it to us, both uh, both games of the series. And uh, to me, that's that's going to be the key. Just we've gotten punched in the punch in the face, punch in the mouth, whatever you want to call it, twice, and it's up to us to punch them right back. Because I mean, I'm a big UFC fight. The best fights are the ones that are back and forth, not the ones where it's one sided. So. Uh, You know, it's a, that's, that's got to be the mentality. Como lo dijiste, he estado aquí mucho muchos situaciones como esta. En el 2020 pudimos venir atrás en, en, de la serie contra Atlanta de 3 a 1 y ganar la serie. Eh, para mí la mentalidad más importante es, es ganar hoy. Eh, ganar hoy porque es bien fácil estar pensando en, lo, en los próximos, que hay que ganar tres juegos seguidos, cuántas veces lo hemos hecho la temporada, bla, bla, bla. Pero lo más importante para mí es ganar hoy porque el día más importante de, de, de nuestra temporada es hoy, porque es el que estamos viviendo. Y... Si ganamos hoy, perfecto, nos levantamos mañana y hacemos lo mismo, la misma mentalidad mañana, porque nadie puede estar pensando en el juego 5 ni nada de eso, porque la realidad es que hoy se juega nada más que el juego 3 y tenemos que ganar el juego 3 para jugar un juego 4, así que ganar hoy, ganar hoy, ganar hoy, un picho a la vez y un inning a la vez, un turno a la vez, así hasta que, que ganemos el juego. You, you played in this ballpark many times in many different positions, but for, probably for the first time, there's somebody every seat that's filled here. How does it have field play um, with a capacity crowd like that? And are there any nuances uh, about this particular ballpark that will challenge you as a center fielder? Um, I think we played here in 2017 in the playoffs, only one game, but they drew a pretty good crowd. Um, Obviously, this is a, this is a stadium where, obviously, it was, if it was closed, all domes are tend to be louder when they're closed. Uh, that being said, I think uh, more than the fans, because you know, you you I'm used to playing in front of big crowds. Like it's October, you expect big crowds no matter what. Uh, to me, I think the factor of the roof being open is probably going to play possibly a bigger role than having a large crowd in the stadium, because. Uh, we don't tend to play with a roof open here. I heard that the ball travels a little more. But uh, other than that, when it comes to challenges in center field, it's a big center, a lot bigger center field than Dodger Stadium, a lot more room to cover, uh, a 
little bit similar to Fenway in some ways with a big wall in center field. Uh, Fenway, you got the big wall behind you in center field, and then left center, you got the green monster, and uh, a lot of room to cover right center. So uh, to me, um, I feel more comfortable when I have a lot of room to cover than when I when it's a smaller stadium because I feel a little more restricted because I got to be more aware of the wall. But uh, I think probably, probably here the biggest challenge would be where those two decks come out and like to the left and just slightly to the right of center field and playing those balls off the wall is going to ricochet really hard back. So uh, hopefully balls stay off the wall tonight. Thank you. Yeah. All the way back. All the way back. I'm going to do it in Spanish. Uh, hasta atrás. Eh, ¿Se consideraría que a pesar del récord que han tenido lo mejor del oeste, se consideraría que sería un fracaso si perdieran el día de hoy ante unos Diamondbacks que no tenían nada que perder, pero se consideran ustedes como un fracaso? Claro. La meta de esta organización todos los años es el primer día de pre-training ganar la Serie Mundial y, y entiendo que está en la, la misma página de todo el mundo que si no ganamos la Serie Mundial la temporada se considera un fracaso. Few more for Kike. Kike, you've got a really good postseason history, performing on very important moments. Why? What do you think makes you uh, so good and thriving in this stage? I mean, I'm no mental performance coach, no brain doctor or anything. I just the way I've I just put it is. I like to be in the moment. I, I want to be in the big moment. I want the big at bat. Um, I feel like I've been preparing for these type of moments my entire life. Um, I never just dreamed about playing in the big leagues, but I always envisioned myself as a little kid playing in the World Series, big moment in the World Series. And I um, think possibly a little bit of it comes with culture. In Puerto Rico, at a very young age, games mean a lot, and you got parents on the other side talking a lot of smack. So uh, when you're at a kid, a young kid, and you get exposed to that at a really, very early age, it kind of prepares you for the, for the bigger picture. And I mean, I think experience helps a lot. And I've been fortunate enough to be on some really good teams that have made it deep into October, and it's allowed me to to play a lot of games in October. And experience means a lot when it when it comes to these type of moments. Kyle, KK, how would you describe the mood? The attitude, focus of you and your teammates coming into this game three, how is that different, if it is at all, as that same focus going into the first two games? I think right now it's uh, it's as good as it can be, you know. Um, we are as calm and collected as we can be, but you also sense the, you, you can also feel the sense of urgency in there, which is what we need, because there's no tomorrow. I mean, we got to play every pitch of tonight with a lot of urgency, because this could be it, so. Um, you know, things haven't gone our way, but we, we still believe in us. We still believe in the group, and we're, we're confident that, you know, all it takes is one inning for, for, for this thing to turn around, and that's where we're going to try and establish a tone early tonight.